Hi everyone, it's Maggie here. I want to show you how to use the ink of gold from Viva that came in the January kit. It's a fun little product. Um, it's a little bit like rub and buff, but the thing that's really nice about it is that it's water-based, so cleanup is a breeze. So, this is a little page that I was working on, and I colored the leaves with the ink of gold in gold color. There's lots of ways that you can use this product. You can rub it on with your finger, like rub and buff, or you can use a paintbrush or a sponge, most anything that you think of. I'm going to use a paintbrush for this because I'm going to dilute it. You can use it full strength or you can use it with water. So now I'm going to spray a little water on my craft mat. And I'm using a fairly stiff brush just because it's a little bit easier to get the ink of gold out of the pot. So stick my little brush in there and I'm going to start painting these leaves. Use less water and more product if you want a really strong color and more water and less product if you want just a, a patina of gold. Now I want gold leaves so I'm using a lot. There you can see the effect. See how nice and gold that looks? When that dries, I'll probably put another little coat on just to make it a little bit golder. Easy, easy to do. There. Okay, so that's all there is to that. As I said, clean up some breeze, squirt a little bit of water, wipe it down, and it's gone. Now, another thing that you can do, and that I did on this page, you can see there's some gold here and there. I took a, a sponge, and there was a small one that we got in the kit. Of, oh, I don't know if it was last month or the month before. Unfortunately, I can't seem to find that one, so I have a big sponge. And um, just dab it down into some water, like so. I'm going to use the blue since I've got the sponge inked up for blue. And then just stick it down into your pot and start inking around your edge. Now, let's see here. So I'm going to start creating a background on this sheet of paper that comes in the kit. It's one of Basic Gray's papers. Um, so I'll get a little ink on my dabber. And I think I want to just kind of color the edges a little bit. So you can see you can just dab it on if you want to thin it down or can just add a little water to your sponge and kind of like watercolor really. It's a really pretty color. This is called steel blue. Um, yeah, so see what you can do with that. Why do we have streaks on my video? Hmm. Okay, another thing you can do, and I thought this was pretty cool got a LeBlanche stamp here and the ink uh, ugh, just got it on the back of something there's a little plastic cap that comes on the top of the glue mine has ink all over it so I'm just gonna use that and dab my dabber onto that and use up some of that now I'm going to pounce this all over this stamp and I'm going to add just a little bit of water to my spongy thing. A little bit more ink. It's a work in progress. I just have been playing and thinking of things that I could do. And I thought this was pretty cool. Okay. Inky, inky, inky. And this stamp came from the store. It's really a pretty stamp. Okay. All right, let's give it a try. Let's stamp it onto our paper. I think over here where we've been blending would be a nice place. Whoops, let me get back in the camera view. 
yeah, that turned out pretty nice. I'm not the world's best stamper by any imagine, stretch of the imagination, but there you go. So there's three different things you can do with Inca Gold. You can stamp, you can color, paint, and you can kind of uh, do background. So, this is my first video. Nobody, you can't laugh at me. Only person watching is the dog. <laughs> anyway, I hope you'll give a, the Inca Gold a try and let us know if you come up with some new uses for it.